Citation Spectrum Soldiers, my name is Sir Handelot, and welcome back to Foodie Fiasco Fridays. Now, I did mention in the last video that I was going to have a special guest on the channel in, like, the description of that video. The special guest was going to be my older sister, Elizabeth, but she's not feeling the greatest, and, uh, I'm in crunch mode. Also, I'm sorry if I sound really horrible. I'm kind of fighting an upper respiratory infection at the moment. Not fun. It really hurts. <coughs> Even though I'm fighting an upper respiratory infection and a, it made me a lot of congestion, the show must go on. I'm not going to give up on this series. I just started. So yeah, with that, with that out of the way, let's get on to today's video. So, as I mentioned last week, there are three burger places, three chicken places, three international cuisine places, and four Mexican places. Today is one of the Mexican places. Today, I'm going to be trying a restaurant called Super Mega Dia. Can we just appreciate the fact that it says Made Mega for Sir H? I absolutely love that. It's honestly, like, it's the little things that'll make or break a first impression, and so far, it made it. Now, like always, for this series, I have a main menu item, a side item, and either a drink or dessert. So, let's see what I got. I think that's the dessert. Here's the main course and side item together. Let me just get it on the Snorlax plate real quick. Um, okay. So I'm seeing an issue already with the side. Okay, so basically with every quesadilla you get from Super Mega Dia, you're supposed to get, it's supposed to come with fries and a secret house sauce. I only got french fries, no sauce. So that's a, a bit upsetting. I mean, I'll still try to french fries though. I mean, they're probably not like an ordinary french, they're probably like an ordinary french fry. It looks like it. All right. Cheers. Yeah, it's just an ordinary french fry. A little dry though. I don't know if I can swallow this. So the fries were a little dry. It was kind of tough to swallow. I just spit it out. So the fries, I hate to say it, but I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sure they're better with the sauce, but I didn't get any sauce, so what can I do? But now for the main course, their quesadillas. So basically at Super Mega Dia, they have five different options for a quesadilla, but they're not what you think they are. They have a chicken bacon ranch with avocado in it. They have an, what they call the Italian stallion, which is basically a calzone, but made into a quesadilla with pepperoni and even mozzarella sticks in there. They have a fiery fajita, which is pretty spicy. I did not get it, obviously. They have extra cheesy chicken, which is just chicken and cheese. Pretty self-explanatory. And then we have what I have, which is the cheeseburger quesadilla. Let me just look up something. Let me just look up my receipt so I remember what's all in it. It's actually called the Mega Cheeseburger. And it has burger patty. American cheese, shredded Jack and Jedder cheddar cheese, diced onion, pickles, and house sauce. And since I don't like pickles and diced onions are, is a, are a weird texture for me, I decided to get it without either of those. So it's just burger and cheese and a house sauce. Let's pick one up. Get a good close up shot. I mean, it looks good. Looks really good. Also really greasy. I mean, I can smell a little bit. Not much, though, because my nose is a little stopped up. Stopped up. It smells good, though, from what I could tell. Three, two, one. <coughs> Consume.
it's kind of disappointing. Not gonna lie, it's it, it isn't as bad as I as I as I, as I reacted to it, but it's a little dry. I mean, it has flavor, but it it's very little flavor, and I feel like it's missing something. Like there's something in there that like really need it really needs I just can't pinpoint what yeah it's just meh and I would give it the seal of mediocrity if it wasn't for the price this thing was expensive I literally spent $14 on this and for something that price I thought it would taste better than that but and if it wasn't for the price it would get the seal of mediocrity but I'm sorry it, it just it seal of disapproval I need a drink. Give me a minute. Alright. Now there's one more thing left to try before I close off the video. And that is the dessert. Oh. Wait. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, so what not in this bag wasn't the dessert. There's silverware, there's ketchup, there's the ranch for the fries, and I'm guessing that's the secret house, and that's the sauce for the quesadilla. I could be wrong, though. I didn't even get the brownie. Believe me when I say this, I will be getting my money back for that brownie. And that better have been a darn good brownie that, for what I can't try, because that was a $4.50 brownie. So yeah, I'm more than a little pissed. I'm ready to give my final, final thoughts. Like, do I really need to try the sauces? Like, what's the point? The fries are dry. The quesadilla isn't that good. What's the point? So, with that being said, Super Mega Dia, hate to say it, but it gets the seal of disapproval. I don't recommend it unless you're really wanting to waste your money. So, yeah, I think that'll do for today's video, guys. Um kind of sucks that I had to end it off on a sour note. Also, I apologize again if my voice is horrible sounding. I really can't help it when you're coughing your lungs out. But, yeah. I gotta figure out something else for dinner. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like like you're dropping the bass. Wow, wow. And give the old subscribe and the old smizzity smack. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Tunes.